so far we have talked about how diversity is generated in the variable region of the antibody. Additionally, I told you that there are several different classes of antibodies. So, cell B cells have ability to switch classes. This process also happens at the DNA level. That will be topic of this module. Additionally, I will tell you also that how B cells which initially produce IgM antibodies which are embedded in their surface or embedded in the plasma membrane on their surface how they are able to produce same IgM antibody in a form that is now released uh, extra into the extracellular environment. So, let us begin our discussion. B cells initially produce IgM antibodies. The classes of antibodies are basically determined by the, the constant region and first constant region in the DNA sequence is the mu region which basically is the region that allow when when it is translated results in IgM molecule. These molecules are initially IgM molecules are produced and released by these cells. This is the basically primary antibody response. Other antibodies which include IgM, IgA, for example, IgE, these are the secondary class of antibodies which are produced by rearranging the DNA. However, I would like to emphasize that the variable region which is formed by joining of B, D and J regions at the DNA level that determine the specificity of the antibody that does not change that remains constant now in this when the B cells are switching their class. Now, the constant region rearranges as you can see we have DNA regions for example, this mu region is for the IgM, this delta region is for IgD and gamma we have said that there are several subclasses of G. So, these gamma regions are for different classes different subclasses of IgE. Epsilon here for example, is for Ig is the gene that codes for heavy region which determines which makes an antibody an IgE antibody. Alpha region makes IgE IgA antibody when it is subsequently translated into antibody. So, these genes are rearranged. So, now let us see when B cell becomes a plasma cell another deletion occurs in the cells DNA which positions heavy chain variable region next to a different constant region. So, in this case we are going to make an IgE molecule we will delete these IgM and Ig this mu and delta region which is present right here this will be deleted this segment of DNA will be uh, deleted the variable region will be put next to the gamma region of the DNA resulting in production of IgG molecule not IgM molecule which this DNA was producing previously. So, here is the process the DNA is going to be rearranged a segment of DNA is going to be removed here I would like to mention that once a B cell switches class it can no longer go back to making IgM for example or IgD molecules because this portion of DNA will be now deleted from the genome. So, now this particular B cell is going to make an antibody an IgG antibody when this region is transcribed and translated subsequently translated. So, here you can see this is the rearrangement of these gene segments at the DNA level and once they are transcribed they will form a messenger RNA. Messenger RNA when becomes mature it will lose axons, it will keep axons, it will lose the introns. Now, we have mes mature messenger RNA which will leave and go to the cytoplasm where it will be translated and an antibody will be produced. Again, I would like to re emphasize that the variable region V, D, J, these regions stay the same. 
So antibody specificity is not changing, which is a function of the variable region of the antibody. Only constant region is changing, which basically determines what the class of a particular antibody. So now let's answer the question how cells are initially producing IgM molecule, which is embedded in the plasma membrane, displayed on the surface of B cells, which X is a B cell receptor that we have talked about. Initially, when B cells start producing antibodies, they produce both IgM and IgD antibodies. This is done at RNA level, not DNA level. Initially, IgM and IgD are produced by alternative slicing of the same messenger RNA. This messenger RNA initially has a region which has hydrophobic amino acids, which is shown right here. Initially, when IgM is produced, this region of messenger RNA is used and once this is translated, these hydrophobic residues which are coded by this region, they are also translated and once we know that all cells when they are producing proteins that are exported or which are embedded in the surface of plasma membrane, these proteins are injected directly into the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. And endoplasmic reticulum once they are, these proteins are passing through, once the receptor or the translocator, which we said was SEC61, it encounters hydrophobic amino acids, it opens laterally and the protein floats away in the membrane. And later on, of course, we know that from there it goes to Golgi apparatus for further processing and it is ultimately displayed, in this case will be displayed on the surface of the B cell. When B cells start producing IgM molecules, when they become plasma cells, they start producing a version of IgM molecule which has the same specificity. But at RNA level, due to alternative slicing, this region is removed and now IgM will be produced in a form that can be released in the extracellular space. So the important lessons of this module, the class switching happens at the DNA level, rearrangement of gene segments. However, when IgM is produced in the form with it can be exported into the extracellular space, that happens at RNA, messenger RNA splicing level or editing level.